I retire in Spain? Well, uh, I've seen a lot of negativity in the news and stuff. But I question a lot of people, when it, the 2008 crisis, etc. Whether they were overstretched in the first place. Because a lot of people will not tell you the, re the reality or the truth. Uh, for example, if they bought multiple houses in the UK. Because what happens is, you buy the what, you, you, you got your house you're living in. Um, you decide to rent that out and buy a house in Spain. So you've got one paying the mortgage of that. And there might be a bit left over. So you know what, I'll buy another one. So with those houses relying on being able to pay the interest, they've already created a very high risk, um, a very high risk investment. Um, so when it goes bump, they blame Spain. It's Spain's fault that it always happened. Well, I don't think so actually, because most of that housing bubble wasn't the Spanish anyway. It's Brits. And Brits all bought into the housing boom, whereas Spain, UK, or Ukraine, it doesn't matter. Um, so a lot of that is, is just something you, people have to accept. It's their own fault. But what I see from Spain so far is the weather's fantastic. Even November, December, um, I was sat on the roof with a glass of wine um, thinking, this is the life, you know. It's fantastic. There's a lot of places to go walking, cycling, and everything else um, around where we are in Alicante. Uh, we're, we're La Mata. When I say Alicante, I'm talking the region. Um, we actually live in La Mata, the town of La Mata. But there's cycle paths. There's a lot of um, natural areas. You know, there's natural parks, so you can go bird watching, um, hiking, taking the dog a walk, whatever. There's a lot of stuff like that around. Um, and because of the way houses are being constructed, unless you're in quite a dense uh, town area, the walking distance. Um, I will say Spanish are very friendly people. If politics go on, it's probably within the expat community, which is why we don't live in one. Um, there is some what I call little Britons around. Um, Personally, I'm not a fan of them because you find there's too many people that have too much time on their hands and they're there too often. So if you're living, if you're the new guy in there, they want to know your business um, when it's none of their business, which is, which is fine. You know, it's not being negative. It's just that they're, they're not doing it from a friend's point of view. They're doing it from a gossip point of view. Um, so just be aware of that. It's not a biggie, but, it, you know, you... If you talk to somebody in the morning, you don't want to hear it uh, from your neighbour in the afternoon, you know, because it's gone through that many people. <laughs> um, but yeah, there is some entire Brit communities, um, which gets me on the Spanish speaking. Places like the matter, you have to speak Spanish, because um, we hardly see any Brits here, except on market day. Um, but if you're in one of the Brit communities, you have things like the Washington pub, all the restaurants are British. Um, people will do all your document processing. You pretty much don't have to leave the reservation as such um, without having to, you don't have to speak anything but English because there's somebody that will deal with everything there anyway. Um, the cost of property is at rock bottom at the moment. It's not going to go any lower. Um, what I'm finding is people are complaining that the prices um, have gone down but the sales are up. Reality is, real estate agents put the prices at a fake level anyway. So this apartment might be worth forty-five thousand, but they've been advertising it for ninety thousand. So if they get fifty thousand, the the seller and the real estate ha agents happy. But when people advertise that all oh, the prices have come down, they haven't. They never should have been that high in the first place. So be aware of that. When when people say the prices have gone down, that's why they're, they're not the real prices to start with. Um, there's poor regulation on real estate agents. Um, the food's fantastic and it's pretty cheap. Uh, there's been a few people say, oh, it's expensive. I don't understand where they shop. I don't know if they're buying frozen food or what because I find it pretty cheap. Carrefour, for example, can be quite expensive, but you've got a lot of fresh produce um, that's available locally. 
you've got um, Aldi, Lidl's and all that, which have some very good food. If you go to where you are now in the UK, look at the labels. You'll find a lot of them say Spain. So just to be aware of where it's coming from in the first place. If you get into the farms, um, which mostly won't, but if you get into the farms, you can actually get some of this stuff direct as well, uh, which makes it even cheaper. Um, there's a lot of markets, a lot of car boot type markets as well. Um, there's both, you know, proper markets and car boot markets. So there's always stuff to go and do. There's always stuff to see. The beaches are fantastic. Um, there is... It's quite a strong community spirit, I think, in some of the British areas. Um, we don't actually get involved with that, so I can't really comment too much. But I know my friends in Spain, um, they're quite close friends. You know, they know the, the, the issues you have relocating, so everyone's quite well connected. Um, so, yeah, I would say community-wise, it's quite good. It's probably better than where you are now. Um, because I find the UK... That disconnects happen unless you're living in a village where people are still quite tight net. You're not going to get the same um, connections. You know, you people aren't as uh, people are too busy. UK people find that they're they got their nine to five job or whatever it is, plus all the commute and getting the going to the supermarket and all the other stuff because every member of family has to work now. Where in the good old days, the uh, the wife would go get all the shopping during the week while the husband was at work. So everybody was at home at night and you probably gain two hours a day. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a fantastic place to live. Um, it's good to keep healthy because, you know, you've got the weather on your side. There's plenty of sports facilities around. Um, but also, there's a lot of stuff going on for those of a retirement age. Um, let's be honest, you are predominantly the people here. Um, I mean, I know from being in La Mata over the Christmas and whatever, we're probably the only people under 55 uh, that we come across. Everybody else is far older than we are. Um, not that it's negative, because we, we're quite happy with living in this environment, because we don't have the loud music and all the hassles you get with uh, younger younger groups of people. So, yeah, we enjoy the living in this environment. It's, it's more uh, civil. And Spanish are very civil. Uh, I quite like the, the way Spanish society is. But anyway, yeah, there's a lot of good points to think about there. And if you want to ask me any questions, please just ask them at the bottom there. And I'll get back to you.